Let's take a closer look at the purchase price escalation addendum. This addendum is to be used when the buyer is in a multi-offer situation. The buyer wants to increase the amount of their offer incrementally based on other offers being presented. For example, the property is listed at let's say $120,000. The buyer is going to offer 125, but then they're going to add this purchase price escalation addendum to their $125,000 offer. And they're going to say that they will increase that offer amount by $500, for example, above the highest competing offer, and that they can continue that $500 increase up to a cap of let's say $135,000. So if they want to say, all right, we're gonna offer 125 on the agreement, but if you get other offers that come in, we will increase our amount in $500 increments until we get to a cap of $135,000. So if the next highest offer comes in at $132,000, your buyer, would then be paying 132.5 because it would be $500 above the highest competing offer. And the listing agent is required to provide a copy of that purchase agreement proving that high competing price. They can line out all the pertinent buyer information, but they do need to provide you a copy of that competing price. So if that's what you want, you and your buyer want to do, you're going to fill out this form. All of the top matches, just like everything else you're used to seeing with the purchase agreement and the PICA and all the amendments thus far. So it all becomes an integral part of the contract with all of this information on it. And then this describes the escalation. In the event the seller receives a bona fide competing offer with terms acceptable to the seller, then this purchase agreement shall automatically increase by, and again, you're gonna put whatever amount that is. The increase can be any amount from $100 to $1,000. There is no rule of thumb here. I just used 500 as a round example. So even if you're doing $100, up to an additional thousand total, that's fine. However you want to set it up so that your buyer is in a position to potentially beat the next competing offer to get them the property. So the increase can be any amount from $100 to $1,000 to a cap of the maximum price the buyer is willing to pay for the property. So if the buyer says, I absolutely cannot go above $128,000, then you would put that $128,000 there. Now, it's important to keep in mind that doing this does not negate the appraisal contingency protection that's written into the purchase agreement, unless you specifically say in writing that the buyer will bridge the gap between the appraised value and the sales price. So, Unless you state it in writing, your appraisal contingency protection remains in place, okay? Paragraph two goes over the confirmation of the new purchase price. Everybody will revise the purchase, the purchase agreement to match whatever price that this escalation addendum deems is the final purchase price. Um, like I said, the seller shall provide a copy of the competing offer with personal information deleted. So, and if the buyer is not satisfied with that, the buyer can has two days from the receipt of the copy of the competing offer to terminate the purchase agreement in writing. And there will be no other um, holds on the property. So if, if the buyer is not comfortable with what that final price is based on what the competing offer proof is, you have two days. Again, calendar days, not business days, 
and it does include holidays, two days from the receipt of the copy of the competing offer to terminate if that's what the buyer wants to do. And then number four is any additional terms. For example, this is what I was talking about, about the appraisal contingency. Buyer agrees to pay up to a certain amount of money in cash at closing to close any gap between the appraised value and the agreed sales price. So if you end up with your agreed sales price being $128,000 and the appraisal comes in at the 125, if you have nothing else in writing, then you become embroiled in another negotiation at that 125,000. Is the seller going to come down on the price? Is the buyer going to come up with cash? That becomes a new negotiation within the purchase. If this is written in, buyer agrees to pay up to, let's say $2,000 in cash at closing to close any gap between the appraised value and the agreed sales price. Then when the appraisal comes in at $125,000, the buyer is obligated now to pay that additional $2,000 and the seller is obligated to accept that $127,000 final sales price based on what is written in this agreement. Page two talks about being free will and everybody signs this for it to become a part of the purchase agreement. So this can get kind of complicated, especially if you're in the heat of the battle and you know you've got multiple offers and you're under the gun, please do not hesitate to reach out to a mentor or reach out to me and we'll help you get this put together so that it's part of your purchase agreement and it benefits your buyer the way that they want to purchase the property.